Hi guys, Jason here from Lowen Rose and what a motorhome we've got today. It's the brand new 2025 model Swift Contiki 784. We've got a full video tour coming for you now. We're going to show you inside, show you outside and explain all the features and what's going on. So stay tuned, we've got full motorhome details coming up shortly and a full video presentation. So here we are inside the brand new 2025 Contiki. You've got the introduction of the new Cinnamon Toast leather colour scheme. That's the new colours that you're seeing right now. I'm a huge, huge fan to say the least. I think it feels warmer than previous colours. I like the style of it. It suits the luxury feel and the design of this. I like it. Uh, a good note at this point, you have got three different colour scheme interiors, although this is the standard, the Cinnamon Toast. You've got the Brucia grey leather like you had last year and a third alternative which is a, a brown cloth but this is the standard. Of course you're on the brand new Fiat Decato on the front. This is 180 brake horsepower, 8 speed automatic. You've got sat nav now as standard as well as reverse camera, air conditioning, cruise control and privacy blinds all up at the front. This is a four berth with four travel seats. Of course, you've got your captain seats which turn around and face the lounge. Now, to give some context of what we're looking at here, within brand new Swifts today, you've got three models, the Voyager, the Escape, and then this, the Contiki, which is the high-end flagship luxury model. It's got an incredible specification, a nice finish, a sensational finish really, and a great spec, all as standard. So for example, you've got your solar panels, leisure batteries, canopies, Aldi heating, all parking sensors, again, all as standard in the Contiki. This is the 784 model, which talks about the bed. So on the back, you've got these raised singles at the back, which are right now we're finding to be the most popular bed layout. Now, for those asking, you can extend this now. You couldn't on last year's model, but you can on this year. You've got an extra infill cushion, which will come across the front here. It won't go all the way to the end, but it will make it a little bit bigger. And essentially, the way I like to describe these bed is you can cuddle, but you can't kick. Two raised singles of an evening time or a night time, somebody wants to get out of the bed. You can do that with ease, just pop out. You're not interrupting the other person sleeping, trying to climb over or wrestle them or anything like that. You can just get in. But the big benefit is the storage. These are raised single beds. You've got a huge garage on the back. And on the inside, you've got all this storage. Shelves here, same on the other side. Some more storage in there, in your steps. And then of course, you've got these great big doors down here. But the main point of storage is the garage, which I'm gonna show you just shortly. Now let's talk about this lounge on the front for a second. So you've got this nice inward facing lounge with your two big long side lounges. This will also make a bed. You've got your electric table in the middle, which can fold over like so. That will also work as a base for the bed. You electronically drop that by pressing a button just up here. Drop that down, make it a base, pull the cushions so they sit on top and that's a double bed on the front. Now. If you wanted to travel more than two people, you've got the Yaguti pop-up chairs, which sit actually below these cushions. Very simply, pop these cushions off, pop them up, and they're underneath there. Storage in the front, of course, you've got these big, deep lockers. That's on both sides. Like so. Now, moving on to the kitchen for a second. Full kitchen in here. What do I mean by that? On the top, you've got your Dometic integrated microwave, your Thetford unit with three gas burners and electric hot plate, separate grill, and then a separate oven. And then just opposite, you've got your full length Dometic fridge and freezer. And this is a dual opening fridge, so you can open it on both sides, just like so. When it comes to watching television in here, you'd pop it on a bracket just up here, and there's all your plug-in points along the side and everything like that. Above the entrance door, you've got your Aldi heating control panel, and then also your Swift Command unit 
in here you can control your heating, your lighting, your power, your water, so on and so on. That's just nice and easy up there. You do have a separate toilet and shower in here. And let's have a look at that. So on your right hand side, you've got your gorgeously finished off sink basin, toilet unit, and then again, just opposite, you've got this shower in here with your marble effect walls. I think it's a great touch. And then up over top, you've actually got this little bar which can work as a hanging rail. Now you can close the door completely. That's gonna give you some privacy from the front, but if you want privacy from the bedroom as well, simply pull these latches down, slide across, same on the other side, and voila, you've now got three chambers. So you've got your front lounge, your toilet bathroom, and your bedroom are all separated nice and neatly, if that's something that you require. Now, of course, Contiki being the flagship, flagship model that it is, it comes with a tremendous spec. Like we mentioned, 180 brake horsepower, automatic on the Fiat. Air conditioning on the front, as well as cruise control. Reverse camera, you've got solar panels on the top, your two-lay wind-out canopy, full length along the side, leisure batteries, external barbecue points and shower points, and that rear garage and two wet lockers. This is the brand new Fiat front. Now it's chunkier than the 2024 model and the previous Fiat. I think it looks great on a motorhome of this size. You've got a new grill on the front and you've also got some more attention to detail on your mirrors on the side with the addition of these lines. Of course, on the previous Contiki, as well as a different color on the inside, you had a different color on the outside. You had that sporty red and on this, this year, they went for this caramel cinnamon colour, which I think speaks to the luxury of the motorhome. I'm a big fan of it, especially now I'm seeing it in reality. When I saw photos, I wasn't sure. Now I'm looking at it, I think it looks great. On the back side, you've got this huge garage, which I'm going to show you. Now again, this is dual entrance, so you can open that on both sides. Open that up like so. Check a, check a plate floor. Tie down handles as well you've got some hooks for hanging at the top an extra storage box and then your baskets on the back just there in here you've still got your usb points your 12 volts and your plug-in points and then along the back you've got this nice deep long wedge going right the way along this is another Aldi radiator, so in here can be heated if you've got something in here that you want to keep nice and toasty. Then on the back, if you wanted, you've got the pre-fittings for a two-way bike rack. If not, you don't need to. Your two-way reverse camera, so you've got reverse camera as well as a permanent rear view mirror. Parking sensors are standard, and you've also got your wet lockers, which are these compartments just here. These will slide out and you can put your chocks, hose pipe, stuff that are a bit more external. So it all adds up to your storage. Now this motorhome weighs four and a half ton. So you do need a C1 license, but it helps you've got a payload here, which is over a thousand. I think it's 1,037 kg to be precise, but I'll have to check that one out. So don't quote me on it. You've got your five spoke black and silver alloy wheels as standard. It's a beautiful looking motorhome with a tremendously good spec and we've got it here, good to go today. You've got a few different model Contiki's. You've got the 774, which is an end lounge, 784, which is this one, and a 794, which is an island bed. We'll have video tours coming up of them shortly of all those different models, whether it's Swift's Contiki's, Escape to Voyages, but this is the 784 for now. Leave us a link in the comment, tell us what you think about it. Like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.